Hi, my name is Eric Zurichov. I'm VP of Marketing for Photo Nation, and uh, I'm going to show you some of the new technologies we announced uh, this week at the PMA 2008 trade show. So one of the first things I'm going to show you is uh, our new face detection technology. Uh, face, uh, face detection is the ability to detect a face in the live viewfinder. And as I hold up this, um, this camera phone and you look at the screen, you can see that it's detecting my face as I move around. Now that can be used for a variety of things. The thing I'm going to show you right now is we can use it to detect smiles once we detect a face. So if I look at the camera and I smile, you can see in the lower right hand corner there's a little green smiley face and I'll just do it a couple times here. Another extension we have of the face uh, detection and face tracking technology is uh, a different twist on the self-timer. Now, most of you who've taken pictures with a digital camera know your camera has either a two-second or a ten-second countdown timer. So I can put the camera on self-timer and then run into the picture to be part of the scene. It also takes, uh, I don't know, whenever I've used it, I always find that I'm out of breath when I get there and I'm kind of half composed. So we thought, why don't we take some intelligence of our technology and apply it towards that problem? The way FaceTime works is, uh, if you look at here, the simulation of the uh, of the camera. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, click the shutter, and now you can see over here that there's this blinking icon of a, of a smiley face. Now the picture won't be taken until the photographer comes into the picture. So if now the photographer comes into the picture, you'll see a second face has been added. He's been detected, and now the countdown timer starts. The picture is taken. So it's a way to give you a lot of time to get into the scene without having to rush uh, and get in there or use a remote control. You can see wire. And uh, we think it's a pretty fun uh, capability, and it's a natural extension of the face tracking technology we already have. So the very same technologies of face detection, smile detection, blink detection uh, are being interested in using toys. And so if you think about it, if a, if a toy has a camera uh, in the eye of a little robot and it can detect to see if a child's sad, then the toy might respond one way. If you know that the child's happy, you might respond another. So I'm going to show you an example of that right now. This is a robot that we have on loan uh, from the Exploratorium Museum in San Francisco. And we call him Frankie. Now Frankie has a uh, camera in his right eye. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to smile at Frankie and he's going to smile back at me. So if I smile with him right now, I'll do this. You'll see that Frankie will smile. I'll smile again. I'll blink. I'll blink again. I'll smile. So it gives you a sense that um, through this sort of very subtle engagement with uh, robotics and toys, you can have some very fun and compelling experiences. Inside of a camera phone, there's something called a camera module. And the camera module is an image sensor, which is a piece of silicon that detects light. And then, uh, then there's a, a plastic housing, and then inside the plastic housing is a lens. And so you build that part up, and this entire uh, assembly is typically inside of any camera uh, module. So behind this, this little hole here is that level of electronics. This little spec here, that little module, provides the same level of resolution as this device here. And the way they do that is they, they apply the lens and optics directly onto the wafer. So there is no plastic housing. They actually sandwich three glass elements are, are sandwiched in place on top of the wafer and then cut up in small little parts. And so you're seeing here almost a 10x reduction in size for the same level of functionality. These are things that are going to be simple to, sp to sprinkle around in cars, to help see if people are nodding off to sleep while they're driving, to put into doorways for face identification, to, for security, for uh, customizing your personal PDAs that will recognize your face and set the settings accordingly so you can have shared devices. I mean, the, the possibilities for this technology and this combination of technologies just goes on forever. Uh, red eye uh, results from the dilation of someone's pupil when they're, when they're in the dark and then a, a strobe is fired, the strobe goes into the eye, reflects off the back of the retina and bounces out and then you get the red eye effect. So what we did here is to provide a consistent way of testing red eye is actually designed a, a model that is incredibly lifelike. If you look at the skin color, you can see this is my skin color, this is Rod's and uh, we wanted to have that level of realism for our face detection. Now his eyes, um, if you'll notice, uh, he's not on 
drugs. He's actually has eyes that are permanently dilated at an average dilation for the human eye. And then inside, you may not be able to see this here, but I'm going to take a subsequent picture. Inside of his eyes is uh, is a fluid, and his eyes actually have the same color red as, as the human retina in back. And what that allows us to do is, uh, I'll show you in the subsequent shot, we'll take a strobe picture of Rod. He always delivers red eyes 100% all the time. And that's a way for us to do testing of, uh, of all of our products. So we just took a picture off of a camera phone with a xenon flash. And now what we're doing is, you can see we've zoomed up. You can see that he's got uh, red eyes, as I talked about before. And with one button click, uh, the red eye is fixed. And the thing about our red eye is that, uh, if you saw there briefly, we still maintain the glint of the eye. So it's not like we just take the surface, the, the, the dark area of the eye, re replace, replace the red with black. Um, because if we took the glint out, that would lose all the lifeness uh, out, of, uh, out of it. So the red eye detection uh, and correction that we do in camera is, um, is very, very complex uh, to, to make sure that we result in a, in a natural looking image.